All right, welcome back everyone. So in our early video, we talked about how to do your own sort of uh, slime and bouncy ball using borax and clear glue. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to make your own silly putty using preferably white glue and cornstarch. These two things together are gonna to give us a silly putty. So here's a silly putty that you can buy from um, you know, any toy store or any online store. And the neat thing about silly putty is its properties change on different timescales. So to look at it over a relatively quick timescale, if I just pull it hard and really quickly, it breaks like any other solid would break. But if on the other hand, I pull on it slowly, you can see that it flows and it keeps you know, elongating and forming this sort of noodle-like structure here. And that's really because silly putty on short time scales like when we pull it quickly, it behaves like a solid, but on long time scales, it behaves a bit like a really, really viscous liquid. All right, that's how we can stretch it out indefinitely. So what we're gonna to try to do is make something pretty similar here using uh, white glue and cornstarch. You can try to use clear glue as well. I find that it gets a little bit more sticky and a little bit less putty-like if you try to use uh, clear glue. So I personally prefer white glue. It doesn't have to be this brand. Most white glues will work. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put in about uh, one spoonful okay, of white glue here. Okay, takes a couple seconds just to pour it out because it is viscous, but we can definitely see that the glue, it does flow even on relatively short time scales, right? So the glue itself is just a purely viscous material. Okay, so here's sort of our one spoonful of glue. All right, and so the next thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna add in about one generous spoonful of cornstarch, okay? The exact ratios will sort of change the properties from being a bit more solid-like, if I had a bit more cornstarch, a little bit more sticky-like if we have more of the glue in there. So what we're going to do is just mix these two together. It takes a little bit of time for these two to bind together. And we'll sort of see what happens as we start dialing in different amounts of the cornstarch or the glue. Okay, so if we start off with about a one-to-one -one ratio, so it starts binding, the cornstarch starts blending into the glue, start getting something that's relatively thick and viscous-like, we can sort of see that it's having a lot of the sort of slime-like properties that we saw in one of the other materials there, right? So it's definitely in the slime-like category here. Having said that, we throw in about another one spoonful of the cornstarch. So now we've got about two spoons of cornstarch. It's gonna start coming together really nicely. And what we should get is something that really starts resembling uh, a lot of the properties of silly putty. So it looks relatively dry here, which is kind of good. So we can start folding these through to each other. Okay, so we can start folding this together. And we should find that our silly putty, based on the glue and the cornstarch, got this right, you know, on sort of these, you know, longer time scales should flow relatively easily. Okay, so just kind of blend this in. Takes a bit of time for the two to fold through each other. Okay, see this flowing sort of like we saw with the silly putty. It's got that noodly like consistency there. But if on the other hand, we pull on it quickly, it breaks. Same as our silly putty did. Now the one thing about the silly putty is it will dry out uh, over time. Okay, so we form a little ball here. It's not quite as bouncy as normal silly putty. That's because um, you know the um, you know toy silly putty that you can buy uh, isn't doesn't have any water in it, and so it never dries out and stays bouncy. Whereas this one here um, will dry out and get a little bit more crumbly over time. But overall, this is a fun little thing that you can pull on slowly and get a nice elongating materials, you stretch the bonds, let them rearrange slowly. But if we just go ahead, fold it back into a ball, and we pull on it quickly, 
it will split like any other silly putty would. So give it a try and of course definitely try different ratios of cornstarch and glue. More cornstarch will make it more solid like and more glue will make it more sticky and glue like. Thanks a lot then see you later.